Alright guys, got my Grey Goose, got a little buzz going on, feeling pretty good. I am ready to teach you guys the next tutorial, number 5, the Graph Editor. Now the Graph Editor is this little button right here, and to toggle it on and off, just like every other button basically, just click it and click it again. Now, let me go ahead and explain to you guys what the heck this is before I start teaching you, you know, how to adjust everything on it. The Graph Editor allows you to change the sound or the feel of an individual beat. So for example, we're only going to be working with the kick in this channel and by when I say change the sound, there are a lot of different ways that you can change the sound. So again, since we're only going to be working with the kick channel, I want to show you guys first how to solo that channel. So these buttons to the left of the channel, these little green lights, Whenever they're lit up, they pretty much mean that the channel is active or making noise. Whenever they're off, and you can just turn them off by clicking them, then what it means is the channel is basically muted. So now that the kick channel is the only channel that's active, whenever we play this, we only hear the kick. And that's what I want because whenever I'm talking to you guys about the graph editor, if you hear all of these other beats, then it's going to be confusing. It's better if we only have one sound at once. And another thing I want to do is I want to fill these in each two steps. So I think that will be a little bit better. So again, make sure that you only have kick active. And another way that you can do this is if you right click it, you can actually press solo and that only um, it mutes every other channel but this one, a little shortcut. But anyways, click the graph editor and now you see all of this crap and we have no idea what it does so let me go ahead and explain first of all like I said these are different ways that you can change the feel of your beat now velocity I don't know why they named it velocity it's not really a great description word because like what's a velocity of you know it, it kinda sounds like tempo but it's not velocity is pretty much the intensity of your beat so if you have a drum and if this is you know high velocity and you can change it by just left clicking with your mouse then imagine you beating the drum really hard now if it's a low velocity imagine you you know just tapping on the drum so let me go ahead and follow along um, with your left mouse just go ahead and paint a little curve right here so as our pattern plays you're gonna hear the difference of velocity with a high intensity to a low intensity so click play So it's high, low, 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 high, low, low, low. So again, as you can see, it starts out high and then it pretty much gets softer and softer. And now before I talk to you guys about all these other things right here, I want to show you guys how to work with the graph editor because besides just left clicking with the mouse, I want to mention a couple of things. First of all, the channels you only really need to focus on are the ones that are active. So if we fill this in every four steps, this channel, this channel, this channel, and this channel are the only ones that are going to matter because these notes right here, for example, these notes, they don't even play. So if you have them high or low, it doesn't matter because the note isn't active itself. So whenever you're adjusting the sound, only, work, only worry about the notes or the beats that are active. Now another little shortcut is, again, you can move them around with your left mouse the left mouse button not the left mouse and you can also do something with the right mouse now whenever you right click it and by the way whenever I say right mouse I mean right click now whenever you right click click and drag and what this basically does is it acts like a rubber band kind of it has a starting point and ending point so instead of just you know making a graph like this with the left if I wanted it straight it's a lot easier to use your right mouse button now one more shortcut and then I promise we'll move on to something else if you use control or excuse me if you hold down control on your keyboard and then click and drag with the mouse it's gonna change all of your beats at the same time so for example if you're like alright I like this pattern right here but I just want it a little higher but you don't want to just be like oh crap messed it up what you can do is you can hold control down on your keyboard and just slide them all up at the same time and uh, trust me it's gonna save you guys a whole lot of time so with that being said we know what velocity does already and let me just go ahead and change this to uh, let me I don't know I can't even remember what it was at 
somewhere around there. That looks pretty good. So anyways, we're back to default basically. All right, so now if you scroll left, this is pan right here. And you guys should already know what pan is. And if I fill these every two steps, it may be a little bit easier. What pan is, and you probably can hear this easier if you're wearing headphones, is the left speaker, I'm gonna say this really simple, the left speaker or the right speaker. And if you're wearing headphones, your left ear or your right ear. So let me go ahead and color all this one side and color all this another side. And now let me go ahead and play this. If you were in headphones, that probably gave you a headache, and hopefully whenever I uh, upload this video, you can hear that on YouTube, but for some reason, if YouTube, I don't know, messes with the pan, then it's going from my right ear to my left ear. So that's what pan is, and just to walk you guys through some other things real quick, um, let's see what else we got. Release, it's probably not going to display in this example, but release basically is how long a note is held. So whenever you're working with like piano sounds or guitar sounds, that's what releases. Um, mod X, Mod Y, let me see, Fine Pitch and Shift. We'll talk about all those later on because there's actually, well, I don't want to talk about that, but it would just confuse you guys um, if I try to explain that now because we're not quite there yet. But anyways, that is basically what the graph editor is. Basically how you can change your intensity, the pan, and the release, which is basically how long each note is held of each note. And again, it gives you a little bit more control over each of these beats. And even though you may think, you know what, I'm probably never even going to use that. Trust me, whenever you get to making a song, this definitely comes in handy. So now you are expert at the graph editor. We're ready to move on to the next thing, which is... Oh, sweet mother of Mary, what the heck is this thing? So that's what we're going to cover in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and, uh, well, I'll see you then.